Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another one of our videos. In this video, we're gonna be featuring a beautiful black lab named Giada. With the shedding season upon us once again, guys, it's really, really important that we de-shed our dogs, especially our double-coated dogs. We're gonna be using three basic tools in this video. We're gonna be using a rake, a comb, and a slicker brush. We're gonna be showing you the process pretty much start to finish. So you're gonna see a big difference in how the dog looks, her shine, and ultimately how the dog feels after the grooming. Aside from the raking, the combing, and the brushing out, the bath and the blow dry are gonna be a big factor in this video. Before we get into it, we want to give a quick shout out to our friends and sponsors of this video, Pet NF. They were nice enough to send us this awesome dryer that we're going to be using in this video. This dryer features a powerful 3.2 horsepower motor. It comes with four attachments. It also has a variable speed airflow and a separate heating switch. It's also packaged with an extra air filter and comes with earplugs that you really won't need to use much of because this dryer is so quiet. If you're interested in checking out this dryer for yourself, you can click the Amazon link in the description below. And also, don't forget to check out the Pet NF website to see some of the other awesome products they have available. And you can also check them out on Instagram. Both of those links are down in the description as well. Okay guys, so right here, we're just finding a starting point. So we're just going to start raking her out from her shoulders and her back to her rear. We're using the rake here, as you can see, just a few strokes guys. We're already getting tons and tons of hair out of her undercoat. We're using really, really short strokes just to ensure that we're not yanking on her too hard. See all, we're, all the hair we're getting out. And just working towards her rear now. And you wanna be real careful. You don't wanna yank too hard. Let the rake do its job. If it's not coming out in one stroke, just do short strokes. Okay, again, we're just, our starting point is at the shoulders. We're working the right side of Giada now. Once again, you could just see all of the hair coming out. This is all undercoat. The great thing about this, guys, is that the dog is going to feel so much better after the grooming. We're working the top of the tail here. This section could get really, really thick on a lot of dogs, so you just want to pay special attention. I'm just working down the leg now. Believe it or not, the dog will shed all over right down to the legs. I'm trying to support Giada as much as I can with my left hand. Now we're working on her tail. Just want to be really, really careful on the tail, guys. Uh, dogs' tails are very sensitive despite how strong they may look. They're very, very sensitive, so I'm going very, very slowly. I don't want to yank on the tail, so I'm just doing it piece by piece. Now we're just gonna work from the front of the neck and back into her, uh, her chest area. Pulling the noose forward so I can get the back of her neck real well. Lifting her ear here. Again, guys, just really short strokes. All of that undercoat is just going to allow the skin to uh, breathe better once we get all of that undercoat out. Now we're just working the right side of her. 
want to be really careful in the chest area guys because there's lots of skin folds you don't want the skin folds to get caught in between the rake at all so just kind of go slowly and just cautiously and uh, maybe just spread the skin with your left hand I'm going down her leg here as I mentioned, the dogs will shed everywhere right down into the hawk areas and the lower legs. Oh, Giada, what a sweetheart. Looks like my head is shedding here a little. Just separating the undercoat. All right, now we're gonna go to our slicker brush here. The slicker brush is just gonna get any remaining excess of hair, and it's also going to kind of uh, scratch and stimulate the skin. Um, not to hurt the dog, but it's just kind of gonna brush that skin and loosen up any dander that may have been underneath that undercoat. So the concept here, guys, is just do the rake, get the initial undercoat out, and now that brush will be able to um, stimulate the skin more. Um, unlike if you use the brush first, the brush really wouldn't be uh, able to uh, reach the skin area, which is what we're doing here. This is a great shot from above. You can see how beautiful Giada is. You can already see a, a major difference in her already, and we haven't even gotten to the bath yet. So we're just doing the same thing that we did with the rake. We're just doing it with the brush, and uh, again, just getting any excess out and just stimulating that skin. And here's what's left. All right, it's bath time. So. With the bath, what this is gonna do is it's it's gonna wash away anything that we just kind of loosened up. So all of that undercoat that we just loosened up is now just gonna get completely washed away in the bath. Anthony's just wetting her down here. Uh, you really wanna get her coat nice and soaked. Uh, you really wanna work the shampoo in. The shampoo is gonna come out a lot better simply because we got the undercoat out. Uh, for example, if we had left that undercoat in and we tried to bathe her, uh, that shampoo would not work its way into her skin uh, where it needs to be. So we're, we're doing all the raking and brushing prior to this, prior to the bath. Scrubbing her little pads here. really getting a good lather you know scrub her little butt she's such an angel this dog guys Giada is one of the sweetest dogs we have ever met and her owners love her dearly we love her dearly anytime she comes to the shop we just we, we, we just love to see her and we love to work on her because she's just such a good dog she lets us do everything okay you can see all of the hair coming off now um, that this is just the hair that's been left in her even after the raking out. So this is what the bath is getting out of her. So each step is just going to get more and more hair out. Anthony's clearing the drain here. I mean, it, it's not a fun job. It's not a clean job. You know, this this is this is work. It, it gets messy at times, but this is part of being a dog groomer. Uh, it really does get messy, and um, you know, clean up is is half the battle if you have a dog grooming shop. So you can just see all of the hair that uh, is just lining the tub. Okay guys, onto the drying table. This is the fun part here. We're demonstrating and using the new dryer that Pet NF uh, gave to us. And I love this dryer, guys. It's such a good dryer. Um, the one thing I love about this dryer is how quiet it is. It's a very quiet dryer.
we're using one of the four attachments that it came with and I love this attachment because it really covers a lot of ground and just separates the coat really really well um, I barely have to even brush her at this point because the dryer is doing all the work so this dryer is gonna do what the rake and the brushing in the bath didn't do it's gonna get out the rest of that undercoat it's really separating the coat um, really blowing off any of the dander that was left on the coat. This attachment is amazing. I love this attachment. This dryer has been drying the dogs in half the time. I don't have the heater on in, in, while I'm doing Giada, so it's just a nice cool air. Uh, because uh, I, we just didn't really need to use the heater on her coat. So really we're just using the dryer to actually just get the rest of that undercoat out and, uh, you know, dry up any excess moisture and, and wetness that might be caught in her coat. But um, really the dryer is just doing an amazing job of getting the rest of her undercoat out. Getting her chest area. Giada looks like she's loving it. She loves the attention. Getting her neck area here. Again, guys, this dryer is very, very quiet. It's a quiet dryer. So, um, you know, she, she does not mind it at all. All right, guys, so we're back on the finishing table and we're just going through with the comb now. So the comb is just kind of, you know, going right through her at this point because we got, I would say, a good 90% of that undercoat out. And you can just see the difference here. You can just see how silky her coat is now. Um, you know, you can just see that the comb is just kind of flowing right through. It's There's no yanking uh, like uh, what was happening before with the rake. There's absolutely no yanking of the undercoat. It's kind of just flowing right through now. And, and she feels 100% better. Just kind of finishing her up here. You're always going to see some shedding even after the grooming, but it's going to be considerably less. So there's what you're basically going to have after the grooming. And the rest of that will fall out in time too. Just going over her with the brush again. She has a beautiful coat. Again, just being really careful on the tail, um, just using both hands and trying to get the rest of the undercoat out of the tail here, and supporting it with my right hand and my left hand and, and while I brush through it. Such a beautiful lab. This process is going to work on just about any double-coated dog, guys. Uh, you know, especially like your Huskies. Uh, Huskies tend to not fare too well in the summer months. So you, if you own a Husky out there, you definitely want to do this and try to uh, relieve them of that undercoat the best you can just so that, um, you know, they stay a little bit more comfortable during the summer months. And people will say that the undercoat protects them, and it does, but even after a grooming like this, the undercoat is, there's still plenty of undercoat to protect the dog even after you, uh, you do a raking. Sweet Giada. Okay guys, so this is your before shot. Uh, you can just see the, the dullness of her coat, all of that thick undercoating. 
and and here's your after guys just it's it's like getting your car washed it's just she's beautiful she's shiny she feels so much better again this is just it's, it's just a very healthy thing to do giada's just a beautiful dog we love her such a pretty lab this is all of the undercoat that we got out that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, do us a big favor, hit the like button. It's the best way to support the channel, and please subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.